Welcome back, guys. I'm Tony Hansen, joined by Vinny B and Vinny Pro. And today we're going to look at Castle Panic on Tabletopia. If you're not familiar with Tabletopia.com, it's a place where you can play an amazing amount of, of uh, quality virtual board games with all your friends, no matter where they are in the world. So you have an audio, a great audio and great video feature you'll notice in the bottom right-hand side right over here. And that allows you to see the player sweating as you <laughs> defeat them in your favorite game. So uh, let's let's go to Vinny B right now and let's look at this game and tell us um, how the interface works in Tabletopia. So again, man, it, everything about this is very, very easy. You know, again, you come in, when you make your rooms, you're going to be able to see the rules and download your own copies of the rules. We've pointed it out. It's it's a great, great feature. So anybody can reference everything. But here it's it's nice and super simple. So you have your characters, you have your cards out. You know, all the monsters are out ready to try to attack your castle. And this is honestly a favorite of mine and my group playing, you know, for many, many years. And you start off with your characters as, I mean, your characters, the monsters, as they move in, you can click and drag them and move them into the different areas, you know, as they move forward and they get closer to attacking your castle. Um, and you can play over here, your cards, your hand. Um, so, Tony, if you want to zoom in on one of the hands, on one of the hands of cards down below the deck. You can see the hands are laid out. Again, this is a fully cooperative game. So, you know, we can have our hands out. We don't need to hide them out. We want to work together. We want to figure out what we want to trade and work with each other on. And so down over here, Tony has his knight card here. So, you know, it's easy. Click select the card, drag it off to the side of the discard pile as we use them. And then... Uh, we, you know, you can click and drag your monsters and move them closer. Actually, if you look at the corner of the, the table, Tony, nice and easy setup right in there. That's where all of our monster, t our monster tokens are. So you can drag them out as we get new monsters onto the board and put them out. And now we know that we have to place it in the fourth quadrant. We'll come over here and place it in the forest area, as you know, with the game. And now you actually saw it had a nice little magnet, a magnet effect that actually rotated it right to the direction that it's supposed to be facing, which is a nice little feature. You don't have to fidget with it as much, you know, in some of these interfaces. So over here, a magnet comes out, and we can move it in as we need to onto the other rings. Very nice. nice. It's, it's good because it, keeps it, it keep, looks like it keeps it nice and neat and as you're moving these things around. Yep. And you have your deck of cards as well over in the corner that you can draw from as you need to replenish your hand. And you have, again, right over here, they have all the icons that you need. For instance, they have this icon, this little, the, the, the little tab here for when you want to reinforce a wall. And you can drop it right onto the wall. The, uh, the good thing, too, is there's a lot of hot keys for a, a lot of the functionality of, of the pieces. So, like, when, you're, when the creatures are taking damage and they hit the walls and you have to rotate them, you can just... Highlight over them, hit Q, hit E, and the thing will flip left, flip right, depending on which which button you hit. Um, you know, you there's the, as yep. you can see, Tony playing with the camera options. You can change your camera options so you could quick zoom to like certain spots on the board if you have to. Um, and now when you're when you're playing on your side, only you only see your camera angle, right? So Vinny can have his own camera angle. Tony can have his own camera angle. Everybody, and you can get a full 360 view of the board and right. the pieces and everything that's around the board. You don't have to right. get up, walk around the table, see what's <laughs> going on. It's it's very intuitive the way they have the uh, the, the, the the tabletop set up. Right, and think about how helpful it is because this game is a co-op game and it's pretty it's pretty symmetrical. But you have other games so like an Access and Allies or Risk game where like you would kind of love to take that person out of their chair and go over there and look <laughs> what they're looking at from their point of view. <laughs> and now you can do that without them knowing. So what Vinny brought up was a great point: is the camera angles. You what you do is you choose and you you snap a picture, you know, and I can show exactly how to do it really really fast. And this view, for example, I make number five. It says camera five is saved. I'll, I'll uh, go somewhere else just for a second. And then I can bring it right back by going to this side, not this one, because it's whenever I made it, I set it. This one over here is the one where you actually use it. I go to camera five and it brings me right back to where I was. So you can hop around, hop around, hop around, you know, see what you need to see and then continue with the game. And no one knows what your strategy is. They don't know what you're seeing. You can look at their cards. You know, I can go over to uh, Vinny's hand if I, if I wish, and I could take a look, you know, at, uh, you know what's going on with his cards that is of course if the cards are on the table if the right. cards are in your actual hand itself the players can't see that right and you go to close double click and you can view any card you wish which is pretty easy so that's it guys that's castle panic it's pretty easy to use a lot of fun and we definitely recommend it guys thanks for helping out 
you can go to tabletopia.com and, and see more games just like this. They have thousands of, of great games that you can play. Definitely check them out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.